Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial we are going to be talking about the Views panel and the various options you can find in that panel. The Views panel can be found in the side panel, just below the layers and above the settings. The icon is a set of really cool sunglasses. Tap there, you'll see this little thing for a view and you have two options. You can go to General and you can go to Atmosphere. Let's cover the settings under General. So you can see here I have various toggles. Some of them are on, some of them are off, and we are going to go through each one of these and talk about what each one does. So the curves toggle is basically indicating that curves are currently being shown. You can hide curves just by toggling it off. So this means all the curves are not being shown. They're still there, they haven't been deleted or anything, they're just not being displayed. I'll toggle that back on, and you can do this for uh, surfaces as well. So I'll toggle off the surfaces. And this is really good if you are working on curves and just kind of want to hide the surfaces for a second. You don't have to put them on a separate layer. You can just come in and toggle the surfaces off. And lastly, if you have any grouped objects, you can hide those as well. So the wheels on this are grouped objects. And so I've hidden the wheel designs from this just by toggling off the groups. In addition, you have settings for the grid. So right now I have decided to hide the axes, but I can turn them on. And so now you have the X, Y, and Z axes being shown. I'll toggle that off. I can even hide the grid if I want to. So now the grid has disappeared and it's just a white space, but I usually like to work with the grid, so I leave it on. Next up, you have your settings for visualization. The reflection is pretty much pertinent to uh, surfaces that have a material on it. So if I select this surface and add a material to it, a shiny material, something like chrome, right now the reflection is turned off. However, if I turn reflection on, you'll see that that has completely changed how it looks. Come in and turn it off. And so the reflection setting will change how reflective materials look. Next up, we have the object shadow. If I toggle on object shadow, this basically means that shadows between objects, between various objects, can be seen. So you'll notice that now there is a shadow being cast from this rear view mirror here, this, this side mirror. And if I turn object shadow off, that shadow disappears. Similarly, if you turn on the ground shadow, a shadow will be cast of your design onto the ground. So you'll see now that there's a shadow here, and this kind of makes the design pop off the ground just a little bit. And you can use them both, uh, both of the shadow settings together to give your design a more realistic feel. So that's it for the various settings under general for the views panel. Now let's go out of here and let's go to the atmosphere section. So if you want to add an atmosphere to your design for a presentation, you can do that pretty easily. Tap atmosphere and we're going to first start with the colors. So if you tap colors, you can choose any one of these colors here. You also have a history of colors that you've previously used. I'm going to tap this nice yellow color and now my vehicle exists in kind of a yellow, but with a yellow background. If I don't want that, I can come up here and clear it. The clear function is always in the upper right of the views panel. I'll go out of the colors and now I'll choose another atmosphere. So I can type, I can uh, choose this basic section. And if I tap on this, I'll get an atmosphere that looks something like this. Now the shadows, do, don't really work when you have an atmosphere toggled on. So just know that if you have shadows on and you don't see them, it's because atmospheres override the shadows. You can choose from a lot of various pre-made atmospheres that we have included, and you have subcategories for brands, uh, human, miscellaneous, etc. that you can choose from. I'm going to go back out of the basics here. You have atmospheres for space, so if we want this car flying in space, we can do that. 
I know there's already a Tesla Roadster up in space, but hey, why not put another one in space? Or we can clear that and put in a different type of atmosphere. You have these pre-made landscapes, so I can put the car in the mountains if I want, clear that, and you have several different options. So this is where you'll find some nice 360 degree atmospheres that you can use, or you can choose a color. And that's pretty much it for how to use the various options and settings in the views panel. I hope this tutorial was helpful and informative. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page or pages. And uh, we can't wait to see what you create and you make and what kind of things you do with atmospheres or how you use the visualization settings in the views panel. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.